Hey everyone, I am Emma and I am a software engineer from Ukraine. And from this video I'm starting a um, lead code marathon. I don't know if somebody else did that, but I decided that it could be a great idea to evolve your knowledge, your skills in coding. So I decided to solve these 50 tasks. I guess I will start from this one <laughs> and share the results with you. How I see this marathon. Each week, two times per week, I will try to solve the tasks and motion the video with results to you. Um, so it would be hard, I guess, because I'm not pro in solving such uh, algorithmic tasks and uh, there will be a lot of pitfalls, I guess, in my knowledge. That's why um, I want to say that I'm not that skilled person who will solve um, the task in the like in 15 minutes. Not I'm not that person. Um, so I guess each video will be like I'm starting a task. I'm trying to share my ideas about it. Um, I'm trying to come up with some result. If I hadn't do that, um, I think I will have some time in order to understand how it solves and share the idea how it could be solved. Uh, throughout the video, with all explanations, with uh, explanation of an algorithm which is used here, which other algorithms could be used, and so on. So, let's get it started. I'm really, really so excited about this. I think it would be a great opportunity to me to evolve, uh, and also I think it would be a great opportunity to you to evolve. So, let's start. After watching several videos about lead code, I found out that the best idea to go through with lead code is to use top 100 like questions and uh, start with that. Yeah, so we will start, we will sort this like 100 like question by difficulty and I will start not from the heart, I will start from the easy one because yeah, I don't have any experience like, or maybe had, as you see I had some solved tasks but they were really easy. So yeah, let's start. By the way, where is the medium? Oh, it's not it's such a big amount of easy tasks. So, okay, <laughs> let's start from the search, insert, position. So, yeah, let's read. I will read aloud. Given a sorted array of distinct integers at a target value, return the index if the target value is found. If not, return, if not, return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order. You must write an argument with all log n runtime complexity. So, examples. We have numbers 1, 3, 5, 6. Target is 5. And the index of it is 2. Yeah. Let's move on. Uh, nums 1, 3, 5, 6. Target is 2. Uh, we don't have two in the list, so the index of it will be one, yeah, of course. And the last point, one, three, five, six, target is seven, and the index of it will be four. Zero, it will be zero, one, two, three, four, yeah, it will be four. Okay. Uh, I will need to think about it. We have already uh, Ruby here. Um, so let's start. What I see, uh, the first idea that I came up, th that I have, is that we have an array of nums. Yeah, and we need to go through it and try to find the number. If we have this number, we return an index. If we won't have the number, it will be harder. <laughs> I need to think. What is it? Um, we need to find the place where it could be placed. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it right firstly. What I'm thinking. Which we can do. Each index is a method in Ruby which goes through 
array of numbers and also return an index of this number. Uh, so index will be here like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and numbs, uh, there, for example, these numbs. Uh, so let's start from the easy one, uh, easy case. If, if each with index, if target is equal to num, then we return index. Easy case, yeah? Uh, and the next case. If If target is not in this list, this in this list, case okay, maybe we can go not with this structure. Maybe if nums. include target else and then uh, we return an index of it nums index of target I guess we have this method for array in Ruby Yeah, find the index. We have method find the index. Yeah, so if we have in array of nums this target, then we are returning find index. By the way, in Ruby, you don't need to write return explicitly because it will return the last line uh, of the code. So in this case, it will be this line. Uh, else, so currently it's, we are not using this else. I guess we can start with 4 for e in 0 nums size minus 2 if target uh, if target is bigger than nums from e and 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 if target is smaller than nums i plus one uh, then we returning we returning an index uh, i plus 1. So the idea of it, so let's I finish this, uh, so we, we, what idea we have? If our target locates in, uh, in a range between, for example, 1 and 3, and our target will be 2, so we are checking that target is bigger than 1 and is smaller than i plus 1 is free. If it's, we have this, then we add in to our index uh, 1 and it will be our index that we need. Um, yeah, about extra cases, I guess nevertheless we need, let's try to return 0 if our target is less than nums mean. So this is an extra case. If we don't have our number in the range between the numbers, we have an extra case if 
uh, nums min is less than a target, then it would be zero. And the last case, um, we return, for example, nums size if target is bigger than nums max. Yes. So if we'll have, for example, uh, this array, yes, uh, so and our target is 7, then it will return 7. Or because we need size, we'll, it will return the size of array, which is logically true, yes. Yeah, it will return the size of array, it will be 5 in this case. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> four. It will be, it will turn the size of an array. Uh, it will be four in this case. Uh, yes. So let's try with this solution. I'm not quite sure, but uh, let's go with it. Yay! <laughs> That's great. You know, uh, it's so exciting. <laughs>